Not many people know or understand the deep history, pain, and beauty of Atlanta. Atlanta. Is the first city in the American South to be so honored. Fast forward to the new millennium, where in 2016, Atlanta's estimated population was over 463,000, ranking number 10 economically in the nation with a gross domestic product of $27 billion. I decided to find out who Atlanta really is and found amongst the city's rich history, a lot of unwanted changes were happening. Demographics of the city um, have completely changed. Um, the feel of the city is changing. Mm. And not that it's a bad feel, but it's a different feel. You know what I'm saying? Because Caucasians are moving into areas they ordinarily didn't live in in the city. The impact is that they didn't feel the poor people. People so stuck about getting money and making Atlanta look beautiful, they didn't forget about the homelessness. They didn't forget about the people that don't have nothing. They've been stepped on and been forgotten. People have been pushed out of their homes over here because because of this. Like what the, what they doing? A lot of these developers coming over here, and you think you think this guy your friend, and you come find out this guy that went down to he went down to the courthouse and he even paid your property taxes. And thirty days later, he tell you to get out. It's a positive because the areas that are being beautified and um, made over, renovated, needed it. Mm -hmm. It's bad because I don't feel like Atlanta would have done that just for black people. Despite the negative impact gentrification has had within the black community, we are still finding ways to protect our culture. There's obviously been an impact. The city looks different. Um, there are spaces, spaces that were only occupied by black people um, for the longest time, and now you see it occupied by other folks. Um, so as far as how much it's changed due to gentrification, visually, it's changed a lot. Um, places are being developed that hadn't been touched for years um, and I said before there are spaces that were just true to black people and true to black Atlanta that were hadn't been infiltrated by kind of any other culture that was these spaces were like necessary for us to survive and thrive because as much as we are accepting of allies and accepting of different cultures and accepting of obviously integration and accepting of sharing our culture with other people um, because of the history of this country and the history of the South and the history of Atlanta specifically, it's important to have spaces where we feel like we can come together and have community um, kind of to ourselves. Unfortunately, reflecting on the city's changes is never easy. And that's hard. Because Atlanta's home. But so much has changed in my life. Well, I don't even see myself here in 10 years, so. These people need y'all help out here. Some people don't know how to fight back. This way being stepped over. Some people want to fight back, but they don't know how to fight back. And that's something you need to pay attention. These people, I need us. The people in line need everybody to come out here and help them, man. So I'm sitting at home just watching their TV and come out here and help the people that don't that's less, that's less, that's less fortunate. I guess little efforts and maybe I'm wishfully thinking because I don't know what it's going to look like really in 10 years and I worry about it often but I'm hoping that this kind of momentum that we have right now as a city because I'm me meeting new people every day that are um, starting new businesses or doing something really necessary for the city in order to maintain this resilience that we have and keep it going um, and to keep the city black. The truth is, Atlanta's population is growing by the day. It's up to you and I to protect historic spaces, whether that be through supporting Black businesses or community service. Protecting Atlanta's roots is more important than you'll ever know.